Good day, everyone. Thank you for connecting today to view this live Leamos demonstration. I will get started today with some introductions. Um, I would like to say that with us today, we have Alicia Suskin, Pro Literacies Project Manager who oversees product management and strategy. We also have Jennifer Beccarelli, Pro Literacies Marketing and Communications Manager who will be monitoring um, the questions that you may have. And myself, Patty Celidon, Leamos Administrator and Course Development Assistant who provides customer support to current and potential programs. In this presentation, we will share with you a brief history of Leamos, show you what the course lessons look like, and display the administrator resources that are available in the course. I would like to make a note, the presentation is in English, but you will hear the lesson audio and see the course text in Spanish. So I just recommend for you to increase your volume to listen to the audio. Everyone will be muted during the presentation, but you can type your questions in the chat box at any time. We will have some time during the presentation to answer your questions. And this demo is being recorded, so it will be available. To so now I would like to turn it over to Alicia, who will tell us more about Leamos. Alicia. Thanks, Patty. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for joining today. Um, Leamos was created 27 years ago to address the um, pressing need for basic Spanish literacy instruction among the Latino community. It was observed that most non-literate Spanish speakers who enrolled in ESL programs, English as a Second Language, um, found the classes too difficult and struggled to keep up and eventually dropped out. Leamos was originally taught in small groups, primarily by VISTA volunteers, and then it eventually evolved to a traditional classroom format by a trained facilitator. In 2004, the Leamos course content was adopted online and used by many organizations throughout the state of California, and it has set a model that was tested in various delivery formats and demonstrated that it can be replicated. As of December 2010, Pro Literacy became the new home of Leamos, with a focus in expanding it throughout the United States and Latin American countries. For those of you that aren't familiar with Pro Literacy, it's a national and international adult literacy organization, and we promote adult literacy through content development, programs, and advocacy. We work with over 1,000 members throughout the United States, and some of you may also be familiar with our publishing division, New Readers Press. Okay, so I want to discuss a bit about why is Leamos needed. Data shows that illiteracy exists in the United States and over 1.6 million Spanish-speaking adults in the United States cannot read and write in any language. These adults have difficulty engaging in English classes, helping their children with homework, and or succeeding in the workplace. Next, I'm going to highlight the Leamos Adult Learner Profile, which may reflect your community's population. Leamos is for adults who have little to no formal education. Most of the time, they depend on others to fill out forms, interpret information at the expense of their own privacy, and despite it all, they manage to navigate through a written and tech-driven society. Although the course was designed for adults, middle and high school students have also taken Leamos successfully. So why use Leamos? Leamos offers a learning platform where students learn at their own pace with a virtual instructor. There are different literacy program models, but Leamos leverages technology. It's flexible and cost-effective in minimizing the one-on-one -on -one tutoring and instructional hours. It has been tested and formally evaluated, and Leamos provides a double impact in that it teaches the ABCs while also introducing learners to digital literacy. Now I'm going to turn it over to Patty, who's going to briefly share who is using Leamos. Thank you, Alicia. Well, I um, believe you can see on my screen. So Leamos is currently being used by public library systems, nonprofit organizations, um, adult school districts, high schools, 
community colleges and a vocational training agency throughout 17 states, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Um, we are currently talking to programs in Mexico and Colombia to soon implement LEAMOS um, in their countries. Next, I would like to share with you an audio interview that we had with Rolando Olivo. He's an adult literacy program coordinator at the Riverside County Library System, and he shares what motivates him to work with LEAMOS learners. So let me just play that interview for you. You know, the biggest motivation of working with Leamos learners is seeing their progress, seeing where um, when they start the program with no confidence and they slowly build that confidence and their self-esteem and they want to learn more. And that's what motivates me um, to keep this program running in, throughout the Riverside County Library System. Um, there's a need and a want for this type of program. And we've already had our first graduate and we're so impressed with him. Uh, he received a certificate not too long ago and he's doing well at his work. And that's what motivates us. It, it keeps us going uh, to, you know, to work with these learners and help them out uh, to succeed. Okay, so as you can hear Rolando, it's telling us really that need that there is of Spanish literacy um, in their library. So. I would like to show you next, um, now I would like to show you the testimony from an adult student. As you can see on your screens, this is a writing of a 32-year-old male from Guatemala who shares his story of why he was not able to attend school in his country and his struggles for being illiterate. Uh, but now, thanks to Leamos, he can sign his name, he can read street signs, and be able to write and he can apply it in his life and also at his work. So now let's see how Leamos is structured um, to see what really helped Jorge to become literate. So I would like to start with the teaching methodology, which is partially based on the popular education concept from Brazilian educator Paulo Freire. Each lesson starts with a common word, which Freire referred to as a generative word. This has a capacity to lead to new words. The lessons are divided by sections, um, starts with a simple syllable, builds vocabulary, and as you can see here in the sample of the first module, it builds into also sentences. Each module measures the learner's ability to recognize syllables, words, and sentence structure as it builds reading fluency. The module also includes tracing the letters and practicing on the worksheets. So that's what um, the structure will look for the LAMOS course. One of the questions that are often asked is, how would I know Spanish speaking students that we serve? So one way is to screen the individuals, especially if they have less than two years of education by having them take the diagnostic tool that we have available. We make this diagnostic tool available and it can be sent to you even prior to any enrollment. It could be part of your um, tracking just to see to be able to start recruiting students. And what is needed to implement LEAMOS? The course is web-based and it's accessible using any of the latest browsers. There is no need to install any type of software. Learners can use their computers, laptops, Chrome notebooks, or any mobile device like a tablet or a cell phone that has internet access. The student workbook contains close to 200 pages and it's provided in a PDF format available for you to print. Staff oversight is really minimal and needed only while the course is in session. The no course normally takes an average of 150 hours to complete. The course needs to be guided by a dedicated tutor or facilitator. And this tutor can be a volunteer or even a paid staff. So what are some of the tutor responsibilities? Well, one will be to administer or review the student diagnostic. 
Two will be to assist with the course login. Three will be to practice reading with the learner and ensure the comprehension. Monitor the written exercises on the worksheets and administer the final evaluation. A tutor guide is included with the course. And all the tutors um, will need to be fluent in Spanish or at least speak Spanish at least at a high school level. One tutor can assist up to three learners, but all depends on the experience, and this could be at the same time. While some students are reviewing the online course, others can be working on their worksheets. So that's how a tutor can be matched with up to three students. I will pause at this time, and I would like to check with Jennifer to see if there are any questions on the chat box at this time. Hi, Patty. Um, so far, we don't have any questions, but um, hopefully some will come in. Okay, that sounds great. Well, now that will let me just to go and dive right in and to see what the actual course looks like. As you can see here, we have the control buttons that are used on all the lesson screens. They are the universal symbols that are commonly found in the home devices, such as a CD or DVD players. Each lesson is divided into six sections that include audio instructions. In the beginning of the lesson, a new letter is introduced. But since this is the very first lesson, all the vowels are being introduced. So please note that the virtual instructor, as they speak, as the instructor speaks, the text will be highlighted on the screen. You will now listen to a very brief introduction of this lesson. As I mentioned in the beginning, the audio is in Spanish. So if you are interested in viewing more, more sections, I just want to mention that we do have a three-week course trial available to you at no cost. So let me just play this um, lesson for you now. Nuestra primera lección se llama Educación. En esta lección aprenderemos a leer y a escribir las cinco vocales. En la lección de hoy, la palabra educación contiene las cinco letras vocales. Aprenderemos bien las vocales para poder avanzar en nuestra meta de aprender a leer y a escribir. Observe las letras vocales que están en la palabra educación. Primero está la vocal minúscula E. Después le sigue la vocal minúscula U. Después la vocal minúscula A. La siguiente es la vocal minúscula I. Y la última es la vocal minúscula O. Okay, I will pause it there just because we were able to see that as the virtual instructor speaks, the, light, the letters are being highlighted. So now I would like to move on and show you what the other sections cover. Um, the reason why I know that this will be section two, there's always going to be the little number on the left side and that will show the section. So it will always show the lesson and section. So this is section two which introduces the set of syllables that will be reviewed through that lesson. Each module includes a writing section of the letter being reviewed. So the virtual instructor will guide the learner how to write the letter. And like I mentioned before, um, the trial will be available so you can actually see on the course the movement of the pencil and listening to how the virtual instructor teaches the, the learners. So this is the section three where the writing is introduced. The learner is instructed to ask their tutor for the corresponding worksheet after reviewing the section. Learners practice listening and writing two forms of short syllables and words as shown on this image for sections four and section five. And lastly, students will learn to read and write sentences in section six, this is section six. At least three new sentences are introduced in every lesson. And to build each lesson on the previous one. In addition, there are practice exercises that are very similar to quizzes in every section that will, that we call them reinforcement exercises. 
The learner can only move forward to the next section by passing the reinforcement exercise with at least 80%. After the whole module has been completed, the results page will appear. And here it will give an opportunity to retake those exercises that were not passed with at least 80%. All the sections can be repeated at any time. So there is a place in the course for review, and they can always go back to any um, section that we'll like to repeat. So this is with what the less um, what the course looks like. A login tutorial is available outside of the course for students to watch before they log in. Once the learner logs into the course, they will see this welcome page. Here, they will review the orientation video and the mouse tutorial. So we have the orientation and the mouse tutorial. Um, the very first time they log in with the assistance of the tutor. To begin the course, all the learner has to do is launch the course by clicking on the word Inicio, which means launch. This will take them to the very first lesson of the course or to the sections. If it's the second time they log in, it will take them to the section where they left off. So even though there are other features here, those are for administrators that will be able to navigate the course, but what a student have to do is just click play on those videos one at a time and click launch. And it will always take them to where they left off or to the beginning of the course. The course includes module exercises. So besides having the little reinforcement exercises that are evaluating, um, section by section to move forward. At the end of the module, which is usually five lessons, there will also be an evaluation. But we like to call them exercises for the sake of the students. That way they know that they continue to practice. So these module exercises is where the students get evaluated. They are, the different parts included are reading passages, dictation exercises, and multiple choice questions to evaluate the reading comprehension. The results are shown and not narrated at the end of the module. The learner needs to receive at least 80% or better in order to pass and move to the next module. So when the screen is shown, the tutor has to be there with the student to be able to either revise or check back the answers that were submitted. They may repeat uh, the exercises exercise if needed or they can also print the score that they received and as you can see here this is a little feedback that pops up for the student whether the answer was correct they get a happy phase or they get a little sad phase that is great in case the answer was incorrect as previously stated every section has a worksheet that is part of the printable workbook it follows the same online sequence of the course. That's why in that section three, if they're reviewing the letters or the syllables, the student is instructed to only write on those lines of the, le of the lesson just learned. So if they just learn how to write syllables, then they'd write syllables. The next page will be sentences, but the student cannot get ahead of themselves because it is instructed just to do the lines that are needed or that were instructed. The workbook also includes the paper version of the module exercises and the activities to practice the reading fluency and writing. As you can see, the comprehension questions are also here. It's just a brief, just half of them, and then the ones I answer online. And there's a chance to be evaluated on paper because they need to write. So the module exercise needs to be also taken on paper. At the end of the course, there is a fine evaluation. In order to achieve competency, the learner needs to pass um, the evaluation with 80% or better. The evaluation will include to fill in the blank, reading and comprehension questions, and all course evaluations need to be taken again online, which is mainly for the reading, and on paper that will help to evaluate on the writing. I would like to show you now um, the resources available for the site administrators. 
These administrators are assigned staff members, tutors, or managers in the program that will have access. The access that they will get um, is to enroll and assign the course to new students and to be able to view or download reports. Training videos and handouts are provided with instructions on how to be able to um, do every one of these sections. So there's videos and tutorials provided for these. And with that said, um, I would like to take a look at what the subscription include. A subscription includes a one-year access for every learner, a PDF copy of the student workbook, and the practice activities are provided, the tutor guide, and also includes call support and training videos and handouts that I just mentioned for administrators. The pricing for Leamos is as shown. From one to four subscriptions is $60 per user. And I just wanna highlight that if you purchase more than five subscriptions, there are some savings per subscription and it goes down to $55. And if more than 300 subscriptions are purchased, then it goes even lower to $50 per user. Each one of these subscriptions are for one individual learner because they are assigned a unique username and it tracks their progress. All the purchase subscriptions, if you buy a bundle, they need to be used within 12 months. And in the case of any learner that does not continue with the course or are not able to return and continue with the course subscription for you. Because we understand that there are adult learners and a lot of things happen in life. So if the student happens not to return or continue with the course, you can always contact me um, or the administrator and we'll be able to replace that subscription. But there's only two rules that we use in order to replace that subscription. One is that the learner has been inactive for 60 days, or you already know that they're not going to return, so we can deactivate that account. And if the learner did not complete module one, um, because module one includes lessons one through five, which is a, a lot of the basic instruction. So if they did not complete module one, then I'll be able to replace that user account. But if they went beyond that, then we wouldn't be able to because the student already received a very big chunk of the instruction on the basic reading and writing. So with that said, we have now reached the end of this demo. So if you're interested in receiving the free trial access, uh, make sure that you take down my email address. You probably already um, seen it. You can also email the leamos at proliteracy.org. Now um, that will open up for questions that you might have. You can continue to type them in the chat box and Jennifer will help us read those questions. So we're just going to remain here online for a few more minutes. So go ahead and feel free to type your questions now. And we can also have some of those that have already been typed um, read to us. So go ahead, Jennifer. Hi, Patty. Um, we do have a few questions. Uh, the first one. Is this something that my student can work on both at home and at my program? Um, it is recommended. It is good that they're able to continue working at home. Um, as mentioned before, it is necessary to have the internet access, but at the same time, um, besides having that tutor at your site, it will be great if a family member is there to assist. Um, in case there is anything that the student might need or they get to one section, if they're taking the evaluation, someone needs to be there that speaks Spanish that can assist as a tutor at home to oversee that as well. So as long as there's someone that can provide the feedback when they're reading out loud or when they're writing, yes, it's it's okay to take it both at home and at your site. Okay, great. Um, another okay. question, how many hours a week should students work on Leamos? Um, well, since it takes average of 150 hours, what we recommend in a weekly basis for optimal results is three days a week for about two hours each day. So we say eight hours per week. It's what we recommend. But we understand that sometimes based on logistics or operations, um, they might not be able to meet 
that many days a week or matching them with the tutor. It can even be like maybe four hours a week. Um, it's still good and for, for good results. So four to six hours a week. Okay, great. Um, I have, right now I have one more question. Um, again, if anyone has any more questions, please enter them into the question box. So uh, what level will students be able to read and write at when they complete the course? Um, the reading level will be more of a second grade level because it all depends um, on how they have completed it and also depending on the state and what they want to be able to continue. But it is recommend, well, it is evaluated that they will be at a second grade reading level once they complete Leamos. All right, um, I think that kind of, that wraps up our questions. Uh, we have nothing else, so. Okay, that is great. Well, I just would like to add, uh, based on that, for second grade, when they complete the course, what the students have been able to do after they complete Leamos, we have students that are ready to enroll into ESL classes. So many of them do that. They enrolled in ESL. Now they're ready to start at the uh, pre-ESL because that will be like one step or the beginning ESL level, I should say, because it varies state by state. So they have done that and they're able to just, some want to continue their education and there's some states that provide um, Spanish literacy, like the Consulado from Mexico, Mexican consulate, they have plazas, and they're able to continue with elementary, middle school, and high school in Spanish as well. So this is an introduction to really any education or goals that the student may have. Um, hey, Patty, we actually do have another question that just came in. Great. Um, does the LAMOS program bridge to another program, and what would come next? Uh, what will come next is that we are going to st um, work or the ideal part will be to have a grammar section to this. So hopefully in the future we'll be able to have um, a grammar piece to it. But this course comes with an activity workbook that will be like the next step. Once they learn Leamos, they can do it at the same time where there's um, fill in the blanks and matching and different fun activities where the student reinforces and it's also recommended to get Spanish literacy books for adults where they can continue to practice their reading before they go into like a grammar piece. But at this time, like I said, it, for um, after Lamos, this will be the course, those will be it. And then they can connect to any program. Next level. All right, thanks, Patty. Um, nothing else has now come in, so I think we are all set with questions. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Those were all great questions. I want to thank you all for being part of this webinar. I really appreciate your time, and I hope that you remain engaged. So feel free to contact me by phone or by email and send any questions uh, if they arise after if you need to present this information to any supervisors or manager levels. Um, Feel free to contact me and you will be getting the recording and the presentation in a couple of days. And um, if any questions come up or if you need a customized proposal, please feel free to, to request it. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Patty. Yes. I just want to jump in. We actually want to just make sure we make an announcement really quick that we just started a new Facebook group for Leamos where it basically acts as a forum, so if you have any questions or you want to share a learner story or um, an article, video, anything, and we'll be doing the same, um, we'd love for you to join. Just search for it on Facebook. Um, it should be on the Pro Literacy Facebook page. If you search Pro Literacy, you'll see groups, and then you can just see, you can search for it there. That's right. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so when we continue to update it with stories, we, we continue to get um, student graduates and we are posting their success stories on there. So, yes, thank you so much. And don't forget the three week free trial. Just send me an email and I'll make that available to you. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.